Hi, it's Steve. In this video, we'd like to show you how to inspect, clean, and maintain the cooling and condenser coils in your room air conditioner. We'll show you how to locate those individual components and how to safely clean them. With any type of room air conditioner, the room air is drawn through a filter, through the evaporator coils, and cooled and exited back into the room. On window and wall units, the condenser coils are exposed to the exterior environment and are also subject to dirt and debris that may collect on those. Anytime we have dirt that is collected in either the evaporator coil or cooling coil or the condenser coil, that does affect the performance of the unit. It is important that we keep those clean and to do so we always want to make sure that we keep a filter in place and keep that clean but periodically you'll want to inspect that cooling coil to make sure that it is still clear and also check the condenser coil on the back. To access those, for the cooling coil on the front, you typically need to remove the grill and the filter, and you may have clear access. For the condenser coil, you'll need to remove the cabinet. For wall mount units, you would simply pull that out of the sleeve so that you can set it on a suitable surface and then access those coils. So we'll begin by removing the grill at the front, tilt that down and out of the way, we should also clean that as well. Simply use a soapy water solution. Next, we'll remove the filter. We can now visually inspect that cooling coil. And we do see a little bit of debris on the lower end here. Now, when using a vacuum cleaner to clean those coils, be careful that we don't touch those fins or use a brush type of attachment on the end of it so that we don't damage them. It's probably better to use a soft bristle brush, something like a paintbrush, and we can loosen any of that dirt that is on those fins and then vacuum it out. If you don't have enough access to that complete evaporator coil, you may need to remove the complete front panel, and it may be attached with either clips or screws, or you may need to remove the outer cabinet first. Now with the rest of the front panel removed, we now have access that we can lift the cabinet off. We've removed the retaining screws for that. We can simply lift that off. And now we have access to the condenser coil on the back as well as the fans. So our next step would be to take our vacuum cleaner and vacuum up any loose dirt and debris that is in that area. And then we'll inspect that condenser coil. Now with the complete front and cabinet removed from this air conditioner, we can show you areas that you need to address for cleaning purposes. We've already mentioned the evaporator coil on the front and how we need to be very careful with these fins. If the dirt is on there quite stubbornly, you'll need to soak that and try to brush it away. Directly behind the evaporator is the evaporator fan. There's a single motor that drives two fans. There's the evaporator fan on the front and a condenser fan on the back. The evaporator fan pulls that air through the evaporator and then exits it back out through the front of the air conditioner. On the exterior of the air conditioner, which would be from here back, there are vents in the side of that cabinet that allow outdoor air to be pulled into the rear cavity of that air conditioner, where it is expelled or pushed through the condenser coils to try to cool down those coils. So paying careful attention to the inside portion of that condenser coil is typically where you will see most of the dirt. Now there are commercial products available meant for cleaning coils. Typically you would either just spray them on in either a foam type solution or a liquid type solution, allow them to set and then rinse them off with clear water. And what we need to do or be careful of in that situation is we do have some electrics and electronics in this air conditioner that we want to protect from any of that moisture during the cleaning process. Typically your controls are at the front of the air conditioner and are kept away from that cleaning process, but there may be some exposed electrical connections that you'll need to cover up or protect so that we don't damage those components. So again, if it's simply just dust on those coils, you can typically just vacuum those off, use a soft brush to loosen them up, be careful that we don't damage these fins. As you can see in this case, some of those are already flattened over 
And what that does is restricts the airflow through that condenser coil. If you do have to use a liquid type of cleaner, whether it is just soap and water or a commercial cleaner to clean those condenser and cooling coils, we want to make sure that we rinse it thoroughly with clear water. Make sure we've got all that water out of the unit and then allow it to dry for at least 24 hours before we reassemble the air conditioner and reconnect the power. Thank you so much for watching this video. We certainly hope that it was helpful to you and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.